into your Facebook business page, you have to have a business page. But if you go into your Facebook business page, over here on the side is this thing called publishing tools. And so when I click on our publishing tools, my computer's a little slow, it's gonna pop up this other page. And this is how we schedule all of our content now. So you can see here, um, like this post that I posted this morning at nine had 21 people. This one that has 40 with three post engagements, like all of these things, okay? This is just for our Facebook. If you move over here to the left and you'll see another thing that's called Creator Studio. When you click on Creator Studio, you can see even more. Now, up at the top are these two buttons, this Facebook and this Instagram button. I'm in the Facebook view now, but if I click to Instagram, it's easier for me to think that way. And now because we're posting regularly, our static post is regular, we have time to actually, like I just pre-posted these three IGTVs. When I come back here to my Creator Studio, which remember we got to through Facebook, I'm on my business page, I went to Publishing Tools, and then I went down here to Creator Studio. And let me just get to all content, okay? So the one thing that I do not like about the Creator Studio is that unlike the later post and unlike our calendar that I showed you, it's not a calendar view. It really is just a straight running view. But you can see, um, like here's everything that I have right here. So let me just go to photo real quick. So here's everything that we have published. I have, this is scheduled, this is scheduled, like this is scheduled already for December. And all of these other posts that we've done are either published or um, they were scheduled beforehand. So this is and how you how do, do you, go ahead. Sorry, how do you schedule? Okay, so what you're gonna do is over here on this side, do you see where it says create post? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna click on create post and I'm gonna choose Instagram feed because I want this to go to both places. So over here I have add content. I'm clicking on this from file upload. Uh, just choose this picture right here. Here's this picture. Then I'm gonna type in my post, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm gonna do hashtag, 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 you know, whatever, all of these things that I need. And then down here, if I just click publish, it's gonna go immediately to my Instagram. I have to click this checkbox here for Facebook. Then this button shows up, which says publish. So when I uncheck, it's not available. When I check it, I click on publish and I click schedule. So those of you who have Facebook groups, it's the same idea. You're gonna click, you're gonna put in your post, you're gonna click on this calendar deal and you're gonna schedule it. When I click on this, I can go as far as I want to. I'm gonna pick December 9th and I'm gonna pick, I don't know, 7.30 a.m. Maybe. So that's schedule. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna to go to this button because this is what puts it on Instagram. So I'm gonna click on this button and I'm gonna say schedule. And I can pick the same date or a different date. Like I could pick December 15th at 9.20 p.m. if I wanted to. And then from here, I schedule. All of this over here is telling me that it's being scheduled. So it sounds like you have to schedule for the same post twice, once for Facebook and once for Instagram. Is that correct? Yes, but instead of trying to go into two different platforms or like going into Instagram and then turning around and going into Facebook or going to Instagram and feeding it into Facebook, I can schedule my whole month. Okay. So now if I go here to um, content library, posts, where are they? All right. 
Now you can see that here, I'm in Instagram up at the top is that toggle button. I'm in Instagram and you can see my post is scheduled for the 15th. If I click over here to Facebook mm -hmm. and I go to content library and I go to posts, here it is again. Okay. When I hover over here, you can see my whole thing that I wrote in. When you type, you can use emojis just like you would in a regular, like if you were on your mobile. Now let's say that I'm in Instagram. Oh, let me delete this real quick. Let's say that I um, am in Instagram or I made a mistake and I wanna delete this post. I can just delete it and it goes away. Or I scheduled an Instagram and I forgot to hit the publish button to put it into Facebook, which I did a ton of times before I figured this out. I can edit this Where did it go? I can, where did it go? I can cross post, hold on. I was able to do it last time. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe you can only cross post if you're on Facebook. So let's say I forgot to put it in Facebook, right? So I could delete it and reschedule the whole thing, or I could just go over here to Facebook, to content library. And create a post up here. And I could just recreate that same post that I had that I made a mistake about. So I would do it all through here again. So um, here's my photo that I would put in, right? So here's all this again. Here's my photo that I would dump in. And then here's my share now or my schedule. And that's how I would do that. Really cool. Uh, thanks so much. I had no idea, but I just created my business page. Um, and I also started my Instagram account right away. I noticed there is a difference between the images that you post on Instagram. Sometimes I end up posting and my head's gone and whatnot. So there's a, a, a ratio difference in what you can post.